we have a strange and significant cluster of the earthquakes in the Reckonus Peninsula of Iceland, uh, concentrated from the around uh, 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. The most significant part of this cluster is uh, concentrated around the Grindavik Rift Valley. This is where the Eurasian plate and the American plate are pulling apart the peninsula. This is the boundary and extension is happening in this rift valley. When the extension happens, the magma tremors go down. That's the purple line. This is actually showing us that the extension of the Grindavik Rift Valley, this is the name I've given to this feature, uh, is happening and the magma sinking down. We see it in an activity of the K1, the last remaining vent of the uh, new Sunduka crater chain. The opening up of the ground makes the magma sink down. If we bounce back again, and we have seen one evidence for that just a few nights ago, uh, we had a spillover on the north side, which actually created a, a new uh, lava tube in that direction, the north side. The one that was into the south practically is not... Uh, uh, active anymore in that sense. We see it in the images that we have. This is the MBL camera. It shows that the lava tube with the smoke and the, the gassing is happening to the north. The one which was toward the southwest uh, is inactive. That's the one in front of us. This pulsation of the decrease and increase on, uh, of activity may continue. This is the easiest pathway for the magma actually to reach the surface through this ex existing vent. This is the one I've called K1. And uh, if it is going to happen as it has happened before, if we have a pulsating behavior, a recession, and then over a spill, and so far it has been toward the north, we will wait and see. It may open another fissure, but that's very unlikely. It is the easiest way to go through what is already there, the crack which already exists in the earth crust.